Hey everybody, Mr. Bukubu here, and today I want to talk to you about the bane of every LEGO collector's existence, dust. If you've been collecting LEGO for any amount of time, you quickly learn that dust gets everywhere, uh, whether it's in your city, in your display pieces, like your minifigures, it's a never-ending battle, and it's a constant struggle. Um, I've learned a few tricks along the way that have kind of helped me mitigate the dust, and I'm going to kind of run through those, and I'm actually going to get to the ultimate dust protector, which is sitting right over here. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But first, let's say you have your collection in a room. Um, some of you I know is spread out all over your house, which is awesome. I'm trying to slowly do that. Uh, but if your collection's kind of contained into one like room and you can kind of keep the door closed, uh, an air purifier works wonders. I have one in this room. The door is pretty much always closed. I have an air purifier. It runs 24 seven and it greatly reduces the amount of dust that I have to deal with. Um, it, it's a really good filter and it, it, uh, it does a pretty good job, but even that you're still going to get some dust. And if you don't have the luxury of having, you know, an air purifier, or if you have your collection kind of spread out all over your house, um, it may not be practical. You know, it's not, it, it could be cost prohibitive to have a whole house air purifier or something like that. So eventually you're going to end up dusting. So when I first started collecting and first started dusting, <laughs> because it goes hand in hand with collecting Lego. Um, I was using paintbrushes because I didn't know any better. And, you know, I'd kind of just use a paintbrush and, and move the dust around and it, it didn't really go anywhere. It just kind of shuffled it around and I had no idea. Um, but what I learned down the road is actually something way better to use, makeup brushes. So these, since they're designed to apply makeup, they're designed to actually attract, you know, the little powder or whatever kind of, I don't, I don't wear makeup, but from what I see, I watch all you know, watch those YouTube videos and stuff. You know, it actually like attracts the makeup, the powder. Well, it's the same thing with the dust. These these brushes will go, and they'll actually attract the dust, and it'll accumulate on the brush, and then you can just take it off and brush it off into the trash can, and it gets rid of your dust really well. These things work amazing. They come in all different shapes and sizes, um, and it's a really effective way to get rid of dust. Now. I'm gonna say this, sometimes you have some sets, you have collections, minifigures, um, you have different things that are just so special to you, so important, um, you just love them, that you don't wanna deal with dust, you don't want any dust getting on there, you don't want even people necessarily touching them. What do you do in that case? Well, it's funny you say that, <laughs> no pun intended, there's actually uh, cases that you can get for a lot of these a lot of your different displays. And I'm actually gonna showcase one of them right over here. So this Nebulum B frigate is near and dear to my heart for many reasons. Um, it was a really hard set to acquire. <laughs> um, it also is from Empire Strikes Back, which is my favorite Star Wars movie. And it's just an iconic Star Wars ship. I've had it sitting on my build table up, up above here for quite a while now. Um, and it's just kind of got, you know, lost in the clutter with all the other sets that I had. It's very dusty because it's kind of at the end of the room, the opposite end of where the air purifier is. So this is kind of where the dust really settles over here. It's also the work area. Um, but then I saw this amazing display case from Shop Pop Displays. Um, and they actually offered to send this to me to kind of like check it out and see what, see what their company was all about and to see, uh, you know, how I like it and to see how they could help me with my dust problem on one of my favorite sets. And so this is it. It's pretty amazing, right? <laughs> I'm stoked when I built this thing. Um, it's custom made to fit. So they have custom sizes for all kinds of different sets. Uh, and also they have actually for minifigures as well. So um, that's something to definitely keep your eyes out for. And it could be all different like sizes and shapes and all kinds of things. But a lot of their custom stuff is designed for specific sets that they have, such as the Nebulum B. Um, super easy to build. It looks amazing, especially with this backdrop. You can see this, so there's like an actual like, like planet in the background here with a little bit of like the star field with the glow. Uh, it just really sets it off. It really makes it stand out from the pack where it's just before it, again, it's just sitting up on the desk. It's kind of boring. Um, what I really like is I actually give you all the tools to build the thing. So all you need is a screwdriver, but you know, it saves me the time having to go find a screwdriver of this size out in my tool chest. Good luck. It's going to take me forever if the kids haven't already taken it and not put it back. Right. Um, they also give you wipes 
to clean it off if by chance you happen to get fingerprints on it. But actually, the really neat part about the build, which I actually have right here, it's actually sent you gloves too. So while I was building this, I gave it the white glove treatment, which was really fun. So they just give you these nice little um, cotton gloves and no fingerprints, no trouble, no fuss, makes it super easy, even when handling it. I've actually saved these because now when I grab it, you know, I'm just gonna pick it up with the gloves and just kind of move it around. Um, that's the other thing I wanna point out here. So the acrylic that they're using is super thick. Look at this. The thickness on this is amazing. It has practically no flex. Um, it's still light and manageable, but it is really sturdy and durable. The base as well is the same thickness, but actually the base is actually, it's actually double thick. So it's actually a double stack of, of um, acrylic. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see in the video here. But uh, the nice thing is that the um, the base of the Nebulon B actually slots into the actual um, the base itself. So the Nebulon B Lego base slots into the display case base. I'm putting on the other glove here so I can actually show you what I'm talking about here. So, and I actually can demonstrate how easy it is. Let's take this thing off. So the case just kind of just pops right off, super easy to get this off, okay? And you can see again how well constructed this is. Pretty solid, look at that beautiful background. You can really get a good look at that. And then you can also see now, I can easily pick this up and maneuver it and you can see how the base actually, see how it's cut out? So the, the Lego base actually slots right in here and it's a snug fit, so it's good, it's very secure. You can hold this with one hand, but it's durable enough. It's not flimsy. A lot of cases, you know, some of those little off brands, you get the cheap ones on, on Amazon, and they're kind of not so good with the flimsiness. Um, this, look at one hand, solid. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it's a pretty impressive setup here. And then you can just set this back down. And then we have our, our, our top right here, which is all assembled. It has these really nice little, um, metal square, I don't know what they're called, but they hold the screws, which is really nice. Instead of going directly into the acrylic, which can easily crack, um, they have these nice little metal housings for the screws that, and they also kind of act as supports while you're assembling this thing. All the, the, the acrylic is, is precision cut, so it kind of fits together like a jigsaw puzzle, which I really like as well. So it's super, the, the fit is really nice. No dust is getting in here. And so basically you just take it and you just, slide that cover back on and it's pre-cut in the bottom and there's actually little cutouts on the the top acrylic part where it slots in and it's all nice and secure and there you go um shop pop displays check them out very impressed by this um this is a pretty amazing case and i've kind of looked at some different cases over the years and you know kind of looked around kind of been a little hesitant to put stuff in cases here and there but for those really special um things that you have really special collections especially these display pieces which lego is making more and more and more of uh is this is like the perfect solution uh, highly recommend it check it out shop pop displays so having said all that dust it's the villain doesn't have to be though. We can find ways to work with it, whether it's air purifiers, dusting using, you know, our makeup brushes, little vacuum cleaners. There's other things you can do with that. Um, but the ultimate, if you really want to keep something safe, really want to keep it dust free, get a case and check out Shop Pop Displays. All right. Take care. Bye.